Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the beloved blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. Brrr. It is episode 49. We're almost reaching the mark 50 and I don't even know if we're in the end game. It feels like we're nearing it. At least I get all of the cooler uh, shit. Um, it also feels like there are just a lot of missions that we need to do, Ma many, many, many more than in normal XCOM. Uh, today it's time for Haven Under Attack Emar, where Pandorans are attacking, attacking strength 9, defending strength 8, that looks good. Reward is mediocre, but you know, it's not the reward that counts, it is the good deed uh, that counts, at least that's what I keep telling my myself. 18 is ready to rumble and wants to yep kill all of them so let's deploy the squad okay we landed and uh, whom are we defending uh, Enu, yeah we got a couple of civilians here the more uh, that will survive the better and we have a couple of artilleries from the enemy. You already know how I feel about those guys. Well, before we do anything, let's just frenzy up. And let us... Carefully start by jumping forward. Would be nice to hit one of these big, fat, juicy legs and destroy it. <coughs> well, uh, we hit the torso. That isn't bad either. I think a grenade will help soften up both of them. Nice little general damage and taking aim. Yeah, we're we can't even see him yet. Did G moves up? Ready to fire. It's a poison worm abdomen. And those guys we haven't uh, captured yet. So again, I wonder, does it maybe make sense? To hit him. Holding position. Ranks moves up half distance is where he feels most confident, uh, comfortable and where he's also most competent. Extends the shield, I like it. Right behind him, his mid-range friend. Only just trying to get all of the armor off. Receiving. Dash to here. Is there an enemy? No, I don't think so. Twelve armor. Not sure if that's low enough. Ready oh yeah, we fire. can definitely hit him now. Taking aim. He needs a hundred in order to be uh, taken out. Yeah, I want to Overwatch. capture this guy. Maybe we can even capture a few more. So let's see if we can pull it off. 
the Cyphers of Anu. We got a an assault and a berserker. Okay, a couple of civilians are already down. Ow! Plenty of enemies, I was for a moment thinking, you know what, only three, four enemies, that's actually not too bad. But let's just get rid of the worms. One. Taking aim. Two. Three. That's a kill. Okay, so far so good. Thumbs up. The shield is almost down. Pretty nasty hit. Uh, I was not expecting that. Let's think about it. One here. Taking aim. Two. Three. Four. Five. Out of ammo reload. We'll get to that in a second. So he's definitely paralyzed in it's not coming back. I want to test this ability as well. Potentially not the right one right now. 
but I will test it in a bit. Move up. Remove some cover, really. Yep, that successfully did not work. And in order to make sure that we're okay, let's deploy. A good distraction. Switching ammo. That's one and two. And three. Okay, cool. Got the first victim of our paralysis. It's time to act. Opening fire. We dream without you. What kind of strategic move was that? Moves in right next to the melee guy and heals themselves just to then take a triplet of attacks. I think that guy just did not have any action points left over after being almost paralyzed. Not good. Good. Let's start with rapid clearance here. But where are the other worms? Like we got one more here. Very strange. Dranks moves up. Good, he's very much paralyzed. I tend to like give it plus 10 rounds of par uh, paralysis. That way I don't need to revisit uh, them after a while. I think it's fair to heal ourselves. Took some damage, just don't need to make it too problematic.
Yeah, I don't want to kill the abdomen really. That would be bleeding 30. I don't know if that's a smart idea. You know what, why not? Let's remove uh, the poison uh, throwing ability. Advancing. Taking aim. <coughs> Ready to fire. <coughs> Good. Can't throw poison worms in his lost half of his hit point. Uh, half of his hit points. Not too bad. I mean, overall good. Now we'll, we'll get a bit closer. Oiler moves up. How does that taste? Good, he's almost down. I like these paralysis pistols. Uh, they are actually really, really good. Turns out they are awesome. Grell next turn will be uh, using her berserking. And then I think we're good. For Anu. I fight for my faith. Wow, okay, not good. This guy has a really strong gun. Don't like it. Adrenaline rush. Oh, we don't have five by five. a option to heal. Well, that's unfortunate. So you're telling me I can't even... Okay, well... Bit of a waste of turn. Moving up. Dranks did not have easy inventory access. Holy moly. the best 
iteration. <sighs> okay. Snipers need to deal with it once again. Dash over here, into cover. still move afterwards so we're using quick aim for that and he's finally disabled okay cool half cover really don't want to stand in the open Days. I need to be careful not to deal too much damage. I don't want to kill that guy. For Anu. jump over an even shorter kill everybody is frenzied again Sure that he stays very much sedated. Identifying target. How does that taste? Good, he's almost down. Really bad line of sight. Eyes <clears throat> open. Good melee fighters forward. Grell moves up.
Got some sedation. And uh, Shattered Realm enters from the other side. Good. End of turn. I think there's just one more enemy. You have been judged. That guy is highly injured. Yep. I think we captured three. Some of the specimen that we haven't yet captured. Drank's got level seven. Shattered Realm almost there, Euler also on the way. Really like it. Unfortunately, those missions are just generating a few skill points for the pool. Our super soldiers still can be better, more willpower in particular. And once we do have a dedicated healer, also the healing should be better. Yo, we even uh, we even got four. So see, diplomacy, we got plus eight here, but nothing really happened. So we really need to do that mission. It's effectively phase one mission here that we'll need to do. And the fourth initiation that we need to do here. Which means Tiamat actually moves to here. I need Jericho to handle this under attack. Okay, that's not good. That is so much so not good. That we will need to do something about it. Taking strengths one, yeah, we we should be fine here. Trade, yes, please. Five hours should be there in time, but cannot afford to waste any more time here. Um, yeah, it's yet another defense mission, but we're going to do that the next time, guys. So we're already quite a bit uh, into that mission. So yet another uh, defense. We're standing strong at the moment, and this here will be New Jericho favored uh, for us, and not a lot of uh, enemies that uh, would be there. Uh, we got the Chiron. Plus 10% damage would be great. And Mutagen Harvesting. I think we want to get that even before the Anu Priest class. Although that one is also pretty damn good. But Mutagen Harvesting, I think, will allow us further ways of using it or maybe even we can maybe gather it somehow. 
Okay, cool. That's the end uh, of today's episode. If you have ideas about mutagen, help to mutate uh, the like button from a dormant state into a thumbs up. That would be a fantastic uh, mutation. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you soon. Bye-bye.